Iran. Thousands were released in Iran, but not atheist prisoner Sohail Arabi. Sohail Arabi, an atheist activist arrested in Iran on blasphemy charges, will remain in prison despite 85,000 prisoners being released from prison on temporary leave. As mm. Arabi stated, quote, uh, and I have been imprisoned for telling the truth. Those who have embezzled money were granted prison leave and are now at large. Armed robbers are now at large. But what is the danger of a journalist? End quote. Um, yeah, go ahead. So Let me make in sure if you. the live chat of YouTube, I just posted a link to the online protest that Miriam Namav words. Marian Namazi um, did a couple days ago. It was really good. Lots of really awesome people were involved. I highly suggest everyone go check it out below. Um, should I provide more background on his arrest and his case? Yeah, before? yeah. Mention that. And also mention the interview that we did with his, his mother. And oh, yeah. Mother. I don't have a link for that ready to go. Okay, so if... Um, you're watching this, go to the Atheist Republic YouTube channel and watch the it's really good interview that Armin and um, Sullivan um, did with Sohail's mother. Right. Um, it's translated into English. Yeah, but tell um, people who this guy is. So, yeah. So, yeah, in this case. Just some background, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so Arabi was arrested in December of 2013 and sentenced to death for blasphemy. In uh, July of 2015, upon appeal, his death sentence was reduced to seven and a half years in prison and two years of religious studies to cure him of his atheism. Um, his wife was also forced to divorce him due to pressure from the regime. Um, in addition to the physical problems that have been caused by the numerous hunger strikes that he's undertaken in prison, um, Arabi has been tortured and resulting in blunt trauma to his testicles and a broken nose, among other injuries, and um, refusing to be silenced. This is a quote from the article. He was later sentenced to an additional three years in prison, um, exile, and a fine for charges of, quote, propaganda against the state and, quote, insulting the sacred and supreme leader because of one of his open letters highlighting the inhumane prison conditions of political prisoners in Iran. And as if to rub it in the mullah's noses, he signs all of his letters as Sohail Arabi, comma, atheist. Wow. Um, atheist. He puts that in his letters, even while he's in prison. He, that's how he signs his name. Wow. Um, okay. uh, he resumed his hunger strike on April 4th in protest of the Iranian regime's denial of medical care and, again, the inhumane conditions and the denial of leave for prisoners during the coronavirus pandemic. Well, now some of them have been granted leave, hmm. but not him. So his, like, his original crime was insulting Prophet Muhammad, right? But imagine that, like, even with the coronavirus spreading in Iran, th this they did it after so many people begging the government that, listen, you need to let some of these people go from prison. The, the virus is going to spread in prison. And after so too late, after so long, they finally let some people go. But apparently Sohel Arabi's crimes were too high. This is one of the greatest people I've ever, like, Sohel Arabi is such a, such a, I mean, this guy wouldn't hurt a fly. Like, he's such a great person. And apparently his crimes, he, what are his crimes? Just his opinions were such a big crime that even with the coronavirus spreading in the, in the prisons, they're like, yeah, no, you stay. And actually, the, uh, we interviewed his mom, and his mom is so proud of his son, and he's been, she's been fighting so long to try to get her him out of prison. Uh, and now she did an interview with Atheist Republic, and we were, we asked her like, aren't you like she's still in Iran? And we were mm -hmm. like, aren't you scared of like doing an interview with us? Aren't you going to get in trouble? And she was like, I don't have anything else to lose. Like she was trying to do everything to get more attention to her the, her son's situation. So 
if you guys want to see that interview and try to share it because she's just begging people to pay more attention to her case. She's trying to get international attention to her son's case. The interview that we did with uh, her mom is, if you search for it on YouTube, it will show up. It's called, uh, the title of the video is Interview with the Mother of an Atheist Prisoner in Iran. So again, the title is Interview I with the Mother of... What? No, I tried to send the link in the live chat, but the link is not going. No, just, send it to just, me in the private chat and I'll post it. Uh, All right. I should make you an admin on, the, on this YouTube as well. Um, look, some people are so mean in the live chat. Some person is saying, good, fuck him. Wow, well, fuck you back. Uh, I don't know. It was, okay, so... so all right, just so to the chat. Um, oh, I just want to say, so on the where we posted this on the Facebook page, there were some people in the comments being like, oh, how stupid would you have to be to speak up against this in while well, living in Iran? And I just want mm. to say, shame on you. Shame on you. Right. Like, yeah, I, he's mm. braver than all of us. Yeah. It's I'm, despicable. I mean we don't expect people to do the uh, to do this kind of activism but mm -hmm. when they do we appreciate them and people who say that like why would you take such a risk what they don't understand is that every single right that they enjoy where they live every sense of uh, security that they have every any peace that they enjoy um all their rights all their freedom you know the fact that they could have opinions and say it outright and the government is not going to come arrest them and there's you know the fact that they could vote you know it, all of all the equality that they enjoy equality and opportunity all of that is because there are other people that risked something either they risked their lives they risk their freedom they risk their safety um, there are people that took risks for you to be able to enjoy all the rights that you have today Right, and now that people are trying to do the same thing in other countries, you're telling them to stop. If the, if it's for it's because of people like Sohail Arabi that you get to live the lives that you have today, right? So again, we don't try to encourage people to take risks, but when they do decide themselves to take risks for the sake of others, we don't ask them, we don't tell them to stop. We tell, we just say thank you. We just show our, how grateful we are, right? So that's what that's my philosophy. Anyways, let me yeah. see. Everyone, please go watch that interview. It was really good. I, yeah, it made me cry. Oh, <laughs> you have to watch it because it's in Persian. You have to watch the subtitles. Yeah, it's, you, yeah, yeah. The interview is in Persian, but it has English subtitles. So, and it took a like. It took a long time to subtitle this video. Like a lot of effort went into making this video. So, I mean, we doing like the people that are doing this. We don't have the resources to get people to subtitle video an hour long video. So the amount of volunteer work that went to this was amazing. So please show it some love if you can. Again, the the title of the video is "Interview with the Mother of an Atheist Prisoner in Iran." Please share it as much as you can as well because it definitely deserves more views. Um, all right, so next, should we go to the next news? Yeah, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. 
So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So